I think it's most likely that if whatever these UFOs are, they're already here. I don't think they necessarily came from. I mean, I think it's possible they came from like other galaxies, if you want to say that. But I think well, the I think the most likely explanation, and I think the vast majority of them uh, have been here for a long time, and they're just into where they're, they're sent, like how we are to ants. You know, they just uh, they exist here on a higher plane, and uh, they've probably been here whether it's under the oceans or somewhere they manage to be undetectable unless they really want to be it's possible it's possible that's what kevin says that they're already here it's entirely possible but yeah i wouldn't say they're from other galaxies that's too far away other especially planets when you, especially, especially when you have accounts of these things like coming out of oceans and stuff you know yeah b- back into antiquity well, yeah well the oceans are a great place to hide that's what my friend kevin says and also um you have to keep in mind let's let's speculate this is Kevin's idea, not mine. Full credit to him. He suggests that water is pretty safe because no matter where you are in the universe, water can only be, be a liquid in a very narrow, limited range of temperature and pressure. Mm. So if you're an extraterrestrial from somewhere else, you know what to expect with water. Air can be different. Atmospheric compositions can differ wildly. Yes. Water is water everywhere in the galaxy, everywhere in the universe. Water is water because it exists as a liquid only in a limited most in most of the universe water is you know either a gas or a solid it only exists as a liquid in a very limited right. temperature and very pressure range narrow temperature and range. so if you're used to water you can go find another water planet yes that's kevin's idea oh wow yes and so i forgot he, he told me that that's... exactly and so he thinks that's the connection mm. that's why ufos are often seen around water and near water coming out of water going into water i have to say it's an absolutely fascinating idea mm. and my friend kevin has also published a paper that suggests that if we've been discovered by extraterrestrials on average he ran a you know a giant computer simulation of the galaxy yep. and and he suggests that we if earth was discovered randomly then the most probable time that happened was 1.1 million years ago why just there is no why he just ran a computer simulation oh that's just, just like, the computer he, he said just the put most... all the factors into the computer simulation. that would be like asking chat gbt why did you just it say didn't that? give any sort of like uh reasoning behind it at all yeah the reasoning is all in his scientific paper there there, oh, okay. there is no one-liner way to explain it because right. it's all the factors how many habitable planets are there in the galaxy how big the galaxy is how fast they're going like there's like literally dozens of factors that went into the calculation okay. so this is not some it's not some cut and dry thing where there's like a is there a way we can find answer. the paper online Absolutely. Absolutely. See if you can find it. If you it. go to knuthlab.org, uh-huh. K-N-U-T-H-L-A-B.org, org, mm-hmm. I'll point you to this paper by, by okay. friend Kevin. Steve, yeah. see if you can find it. He but didn't he didn't bring it up when he was on the show. He probably did, yeah, but it was yeah. been, it's been a while. Yeah, this is my friend Kevin's website. Yeah, my good colleague Kevin. I think it would be under UAPs and techno signatures. Click the, no, 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 you're going too far. Left, left, UAPs Steve, and right, techno up, signatures. Down. You're there like right you there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, scroll down to um Oh, sorry, it's not there. I'm sorry. Go back. Go back. He must not have populated it there yet. Um, scroll down slowly from on the main page. Let's see if we can find it here. Um, was there a search? No, this is his private website, so it's not like okay. perfect. Gotcha. It's definitely here. So just bear with me a moment. I know he's got it here somewhere. Click maybe current projects. Try that. Current. Try current projects. It's right there. Right current there, projects. Steve. Yeah. Boom. Foundations, astrophysics, cyber physics, Bayesian data. No, no, no. It's not here either. Like, oh, there it is. UAP library on the left. UAP library. Left. Very left, left column, Steve. Left column. Gotcha. Yeah, UAP library. Um, go there. Aha, ha, ha. There's my paper. Okay. And there's Kevin's history of UFOs. There it is. Simulating the characteristics. That's the one we were just discussing. Okay, cool. So in that and this paper, is the one that says 1.1 million years ago. On average, but with a huge error bar. But basically what's really interesting about that result is it seems to suggest that they that whoever they are, mm-hmm. they've been here a long time. Right. Like you just said. But here's a, Well, maybe they maybe they came, maybe they evolved here. That's possible too. Have you there's Hal Putoff has a paper on this called um the ultra ultra terrestrial. Mm. model or hypothesis yeah absolutely it's another possibility yeah it's totally possible that they got go back to it steve 
Remember, we don't. I want to read the abstract of it. It, yeah. it is uh, generally believed that it is uh, unlikely that our civilization is alone in the galaxy. This belief is central to the premise of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Uh, SETI, which has focused mainly on searching for radio signals or originating from extraterrestrial communication, since it is believed that extraterrestrial craft visiting Earth would be an extremely unlikely event. However, the fact that we ourselves are currently working on developing probes to send to the Alpha Centauri system by 2069 strongly suggests our ex expectations by considering Oh, you skipped the line. Oh. Strongly suggests that, so other, that civilizations other civilizations may make similar or more ambitious efforts. Therefore, it is reasonable to inform civilizations to find to inform our expectations. To inform our expectations by considering what characteristics Can you zoom in a little bit, bro? Uh, there we go. Considering what ex uh, characteristics and capabilities would be required for an interstellar civilization to find or visit Earth. In this paper, the physics-based analytical analytic model of expanding interstellar civilizations is developed. A million, civiliz a million civilizations that encounter Earth are simulated and their statistics are studied to determine their characteristics. There you have it. One of the characteristics that he found is that if Earth is found... It was probably found a long time ago. Mm. And that's because the galaxy is over 13 billion years old. That's right. a mind-boggling amount of time. Right. So if you had a civilization evolve early on, a long time ago, can you imagine how much more advanced they'd be than we are today? Like we can't, we can't even guess technology 100,000 years from now. Imagine a civilization that's been around for millions or billions of years. We can't even fathom what that would look like what mm, they would look like right you know it might be incommensurate with our understanding right well and even the idea that it could have been us like that that uh, version of us could have evolved and gotten so advanced yes and and there could have been some sort of breakaway civilization that either went under the oceans or to the moon or, yeah. or to another planet in our solar system yeah kevin and i call that the wakanda hypothesis yeah and then they came back yeah. after things settled down you know maybe there was thousands of years of instability here you know we maybe know, maybe you know or like an ice age or whatever and yeah then, um well, another thing that's possible is if you, if you if you're familiar with the work of Professor Mike uh, Masters, Montana State. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, he thinks time travel. Yeah, he thinks it's not aliens; it's humans from the future. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that makes I think that makes a ton of sense. Yeah, yeah. So we the fact is we don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know, but it's fun to speculate. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's even more fun to try to go find the well, answer. Well, one of the biggest, I think one of the biggest pieces of evidence that this could have been humans or people that lived here and this was their home are things like the pyramids and things like, you know- these, Why are they so perfect? These types of things. These are made, yeah. to, this is a 3D model of a, gran, or a, 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 a red granite vase that mm -hmm. was measured in a Rolls-Royce light scanner at Rolls-Royce Aerospace. And they found out it's perfectly symmetrical from top to bottom on each side within less than a deviation of like one one thousandth of a human hair. This couldn't even be made on a fucking CNC machine today. And it was made uh, allegedly 4,000 well, BC. There's all kinds of stuff on ancient aliens, Puma Punku, yeah. and all the crazy, like yeah. straight lines and stuff. So yeah, they, they were crazy, obviously yeah. on a trajectory that we can't even fathom. Like they, yeah. they, they weren't they weren't doing the same, they weren't making things the same way we make things today because with our tools, there's no way we, and, and we have no reason to make stuff like this either, right? So, well, so like, we do have one reason. So actually the, 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 the best, the most precise object ever created by humans was a ball that was used on gravity probe B to test Einstein's theory of general relativity. That ball was so perfect that I think it was off by way better than what you just quoted. It was like one atom off maximum wow. in one direction. So if the earth was that perfect of a ball, I think the earth would have like one hill the size of this desk or something like it was a perfect ball it was necessary for this gravity experiment in the 90s or i think early 2000s so nowadays we have this technology did we have that in 4000 bc mm. right it's like yeah so it's interesting but remember earlier how i said technology it doesn't just always improve <laughs>